we're going to go over our superglottic airway devices. So the first device that we'll use is going to be the eye gel. So this is kind of replacing that LMA. It's shaped a lot like an LMA and works the same way. You're going to pick your size based on weight. Um, typically we use a size 3 for our normal size adult and we're going to use a size 4 for our larger size adults. The 3's are yellow and the 4's will come in a green packaging. So just so we can familiarize ourselves before we use it. The eye gel comes out of this plastic case and the end of this device is going to be kind of uh, jelly and sticky. And what this is made to do is when it reaches the back anatomy of the airway, it'll actually create a heat seal and it will isolate the trachea here and then our esophagus will be down here. This eye gel also has a port for a nasogastric tube or an orogastric tube. So we can put a tube down this port into the esophagus to suction out the stomach contents. So to insert this, it's pretty easy. It is a blind insertion. First, we will start with our patient. Our patient we find um, unconscious. They do have a pulse, but they're not breathing. So we do always wanna start with our BVM ventilation. Make sure you hook up your oxygen to 15 liters of oxygen. Um, liters per minute. I'm not going to hook it up now because I don't want to waste our oxygen. Um, and also the reservoir bag does not need to be fully inflated to begin bagging your patient. Make sure you have a good EC clamp. So my three fingers are going to be holding the jaw and my thumb and my index finger will be pushing the mask down on the face. For an adult, you want to give one breath um, every six seconds. We do want to insert an oral airway to make sure we're getting good back compliance. We're gonna measure the oral airway by going from the tip of the mouth to the corner of the ear. When you insert this, it's better to extend the head back and do a head tilt chin lift. You can either go straight in using a tongue depressor or I go at a 90 degree angle to insert this. One thing you wanna avoid is doing a 180 degree because we can actually cause some damage to the hard palate and soft palate of the roof of the mouth. So now that I've had my airway inserted, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare to insert my superglottic airway. So I would pass off the BVM to my imaginary partner. I just wanna check my equipment. I can lube the end of this, but it's actually already pretty moist. I'm gonna take out the oral airway. I'm gonna apply some pressure to the back of their forehead for easy insertion. And I want to insert it down to this line that's indicated on the eye gel. After that, I slide their head back into neutral position, attach my BVM, and I can ventilate my patient. And again, we're just going to ventilate once every six seconds.